hey everyone welcome back to our channel and in this video we are going to learn how we can enable the wireless debugging through adb in android using wi-fi so basically there are two ways with the help of which you can enable the wireless debugging and both are pretty different one is for the devices which have an android version greater than 11.0 so for that there is a very simple way of connecting the device and the other one is for those devices in which the android version is below 11.0 so I'm showing you both the option, but the first one is for the devices which have the version greater than 11.0. So it's very simple. The first step is to make sure that both your devices, uh, let's say I'm using Mac, your Mac and your Android device should be on the same network. So uh, this Mac is connected to this network and my device is also connected to this network. Let me show you, just give me a second. So as you can see, my device is also connected to the same network. So what you can do is just open the Android Studio and here you will see an option for device manager. Just click on this and here you will see just like this. This is your list of virtual devices and here is your physical devices. So if your Android device version is greater than 11.2, then you can use this option pair using Wi-Fi. And here you will get two options to connect the device either by using a QR code or either by using a pairing code. Okay, so I'm showing you in Android also how you can set up this. So first of all, you have to enable the developers option, which you can do here in the, where is it? Yes, here by tapping on build number seven times. So I'm already a developer, so there is no need. And just go to additional setting. And here you will see the developer options. And here there is an option named wireless debugging. So what you can do is when you will enable this option, it will ask you that allow wireless debugging on this network. Just click on always allow, click on allow, go to wireless debugging. And my device is already paired, so let me remove this first and yes here select the option pay device using wi-fi code and as you can see as the code it will show that oneplus mt2111 connected so this is one of the simplest way to connect your device only if its version is greater than 11.2 and i'll show you that also that this device has a version android version 11 and there is one more option uh, this one paid using QR code this is also the same just go to the developer options again here you will see the wireless debugging option go to there and pair device with pairing code so as you select this option in your Mac you will get this option it will show you the device IP and the port on which it is going to run the wireless debugging so click on pair it will ask you the pairing code and pairing code is on the device so just enter it and again it will connect very easily click on done close and now your device is connected so you can run it from here so just remember one thing that in order to use this option there are only two requirements the first Android device and your laptop should be connected to the same network and the second one is that the android version of your android device should be 11.0 or greater than 11.0 Below that, this option will not work because you will not find the wireless debugging option in the phone. So you wouldn't be able to use this. So for those devices which have Android version less than 11.0, so there is another way to connect device. And for that, what you can do is, uh, first I'll remove this one. By going to the additional options developer and forget yes so this device is now disconnected so I'm showing you the another way just open terminal and if you type any ADB command and it doesn't work here then that means either you haven't downloaded the Android SDK platform tools yet or you haven't added the SDK tools in your, to your environment variable so that is pretty easy you can search here how to edit for example adb devices 
environment variable just type this here and oh specify mac also so yes so here you will find a link on the stack overflow here he has specified mainly four options so i have already installed the android studio so this one will work for me and similarly according to your need you can choose the option which one is suitable for you so to connect the device using terminal what you have to do is type adb devices again for this to work both your android device and your mac or windows should be connected to the same network so as you can see if i type adb devices it is showing list of devices attached which is zero because there is no device connected so in order to use this option first you have to connect your device through usb and again you have to enable the usb debugging option in the developers option just go here i have already enabled the usb debugging but what i will do is revoke all the usb connection so that i can show you from the very beginning and i am reconnecting my device and as you can see now it will ask for allow usb debugging and always allow this computer for debugging allow and if i type here adb devices then it should list my device okay so what i have to do now is i have to first enable the port adb tcp ip let's say 4500 and it is saying we starting in tcp mode port 4500 and now what you have to do is look for the ip address in your device so just go to setting and in the about phone you will be able to find your ip in status so here my ip is 192.168.1.2 so what i have to do is adb connect and my device ip 168.1.2 and after that i have to port here so once I do this it will say connected to 192.168.1.2 on the port 4500 and if you do adb devices now then it will show you that this device is connected on this ip so again the device is connected over wi-fi after that you can remove the usb cable so i'll show you like i remove the usb cable from my device here you can see and if i type adb devices here still my device is connected because it's on the ip now uh, just remember the two things that i have told you first your android device and your laptop should be connected to the same network and the other one just check your android version and according to that use the option okay so that's all from my side guys and if you have any questions you can comment down below so thank you bye bye